Lifecycle Insights started as a full QBR reporting platform with asset and user reporting, automated budget forecasts, contracts, recommendations, risk assessments, and so on. That said, we've had so many MSPs reaching out for a basic warranty lookup and asset reporting tool that we have created AIR, our Asset Insights Report. So you can see here in the drop-down module, I can switch over to Asset Insights, which reduces the drop-down on the left-hand side into the menu items that are appropriate for this particular tool. So let's dig in and find a company and take a look at the assets available. Uh, before I dig into the asset list, let's take a look at the dashboard and how the data gets here. First thing we do is integrate with your primary integration. We require either ConnectWise Manage, Autotask, Halo, Synchro, or ITGlue. After that, we go out and do warranty lookups on Dell, Lenovo, HP, Microsoft Surface, Cisco, Meraki, and SmartNet to clean up your data. We show your data quality right on the main dashboard and we give you a report so that you can get insights into any data that you're missing. In Lifecycle Insights, we typically show missing data in blue so that you can easily find where you want to update the information to provide accurate reporting to your clients. Now, as I dig into the asset list, I will see I get a graph of the total assets and their standing. So you can see I've got assets in good standing, approaching end of life, past end of life, unknown, as well as the operating systems where they are supported, not supported, or unknown. One of the things you can do in Lifecycle Insights is create n number of asset types. Now we give you many at, right out of the gate as default settings. So you can see we report on workstation, network equipment, software, laptops, etc so that you can get insights into each type. This also will allow you to easily sort or filter your columns uh, and take a look at what happens to each of the asset types. So for example, typical stoplight reporting, red is bad, green is good, and yellow is approaching end of life. I can, what's called, swatch out the tiles that I don't wanna see. So if I wanna take a look at my warranties that are not blue, green, or yellow, so only those warranties that are expired, you can see in my warranty list, I only have red. It also limits my report to show where each of these assets fall. I could further limit this report by filtering on a particular asset type and just take a look at the workstation if I'm interested. So this gives you a lot of reporting options to send to your clients or for you to review prior to a business review. When you have the report the way you like it, you can download it to Word, export it to CSV, or we have a new scheduled report for email delivery. So I can dig in. This is where I will be able to see any reports that I have already scheduled so that you can see we've got a one-time report scheduled and a recurring report scheduled, and I can add a new one. So I'm going to choose a recurring. I'm going to want to send this monthly. I'm gonna send the Word doc. Uh, the next delivery date, we'll ship it on Sunday. Uh, that time works for me. And I can send it to my Gmail address and with the subject of asset list. I can include any email, my signature, whatever I wanna include in the body of that email. And then let's take a look at the preview of what's going to be attached to my email. Okay, so we can take a look at my asset list report that comes over. So I'll see again the total assets. I have got the view down below of however I had filtered the report along with the detail view below that. So we have lots of folks that use this report uh, for different purposes, one of which is to email this to their ticketing system to open a ticket so that the techs know we're prepping for a business review, we need to update any of the data that's read um, or missing so that we have accurate reporting for our clients. 
other clients prefer to ship right to their partners um, because they want to keep up to date on where this, the good standing of their assets, warranties, etc. So whatever suits you certainly works for us. We want to support your process, not mandate one. So that is what Asset Insights will get you. Uh, if you have any questions, always reach out to support at lifecycleinsights.io. Thanks so much and happy life cycling.